Hi J247, today we're going to be doing our J247 booklet, um, Wednesday Judas Betrayal. Let's listen to God. As the celebration of the Passover lamb was approaching, the Jewish, the Jewish religious lead, uh, scholar, the Jewish re religious leaders and scholars of the of continually schemed to find a way to murder Jesus without slight in a riot, for they feared for crowds. At that, at that time, Satan himself was ent entered into Judas the locksmith, who was one of the twelve associates. He secretly went to the religious hierarchy and the captains of the temple guards to discuss with them how he could betray Jesus and turn him over to their hands. The religious hierarchy was exec executive over Judas' treasury and and they would give him a sum of money in exchange for Jesus' betrayal. Um, Judas vowed that he would find an op uh, find him a suitable opportunity to betray Jesus when he was away from the crowds. So that was about. Um, so Satan gave Judas the idea to. Um, Then gave Judas the uh, Judas the uh, Judas the idea to uh, betray Jesus and hand him over to his enemies, and um, Judas said he would give them the opportunity to do that. Let's do. Take the um, foil and crumple it into the shape of some silver coins. Oh, I've done mine. Um. Um, let me drop them as we That didn't work. Okay, anyway. Let's think. Um, what did Jesus decide to do? He decided to um, hand Jesus over to his enemies for some summer money. For um, some summer money. Okay. What was he given to do to betray Jesus? Oh, <laughs> we just... Um, sort of answer that he was given some money. I think it was thirty coins. I think or gold or whatever they used back then. Okay. Can can you think of anything that doesn't please Jesus? Perhaps. Um, let's think. Hold on. Let me think. Uh, um. So say if there was uh, someone that you really don't like. And uh, you decided to, um, you really wanted to hurt them. Pardon me. You really wanted to hurt them, and you're like, they really wanted to hurt them. Okay. Can, um, yeah. I don't think that would very much please uh, Jesus. <sighs> um, please Jesus. Why do you do it? Um, because mostly you let in your emotions get the best of you. So if you really want to hurt someone, um, and plus we're humans, so I mean, um, we're really like no one's a good, no one's perfect in this world. No one's a, no one's exactly perfect and perfectly good. Um. And uh, why do you do it? Because uh, you're letting your emotions get the best of you. Like, like, if you really wanted to hurt that person, I'd say if you saw saw them walking down the street, and you're like, oh, come on, just hit them, just hit them. And you hit them, you'd be letting anger get the best of you. Or some, or, yeah. <laughs> why, uh, yep. Yeah. If Jesus, if Jesus had, had, uh, had to say sorry do you think jesus would have forgiven him i think yes because there's one part in the bible where i think it was peter it might have been a different disciple but um they go it goes up to jesus and he says how many times do you have to fa sorry about that i just really hurt my leg um okay um it goes how many times do you have to forgive someone uh even if they carry on doing the thing. And Jesus said, all the time. He, there's no limit to how many times you forgive someone. So, I think Jesus would have forgiven him because, yeah. Okay. Yeah.
Is it hard to forgive people who hurt you? Um, I think yes. And I'm about. Uh, am I? Oh no, I'm not. Um, okay, sorry. Thinking something then. Um, is it hard to forgive people who hurt you? Yes, it really is hard to forgive people who hurt you. Um, so let me think. So, say if there was a person and they said something really nasty to you and it really hurt you inside. And, um, and they've, uh, they've said sorry and they've been punished for it and, um, you've, they've really hurt you inside. And you might not want to forgive them, but I say you should forgive them. Because, um, although they might hurt you inside, um, it's like, uh, can't really, hold on, uh, because think of it, how hard it was for Jesus, um, to forgive. For, to forgive the re the religious um, leaders and scholars, think about how hard that was for him to forgive someone. And although they might have hurt you inside, how much do you think that would have hurt Jesus? So um, yeah, so it is really hard. Why should we forgive them? Ooh, um, why should we forgive them? Because because you're only, you only forgive them is because you're only keeping that unforgiveness inside of you and keep wanting to hate them. And um there was a very famous person called um Nelson Mandela, who um, said, unforgiveness, unforgiveness and hatred is like having a cup of poison and drinking it and, and hoping the, um, it will kill the other person. <laughs> it will kill the enemy. Um, so, drink a cup of poison and then hoping it will kill the person you don't like. <laughs> Because um, keeping all that hateness and for that person and, and unforgiveness for that person inside of you, and you're not letting it all go, and that's what forgiving is when you're letting it, all that hatred for that person go. Okay, <sighs> let's pray. Take take some time to pray and say sorry for God for the things we um, things we do that don't please Him. Uh, um thank him um thank him uh thank him sorry uh thank him that um that he will always forgive us and continue to love us when we say sorry forgive anyone who hurts us and um god's beast over them so I'm. I want. I'm gonna tell you a little story. I'm sure you all know this story. Um, but it says uh, in the Bible, it says about a story about a man that Jesus was um, telling this story, and it's about a man who who owed a lot of money to the king, and uh, the man owed a lot of money to the king. So, but the. He did. He told him. He told the king, "I'll pay it off. I'll pay it off." But the king knew he couldn't pay it off. So, and he owed like a lot of money to the king. So, um, the king let him off the hook. And then, um, the king let him off the hook. Um, and then he went out and he spotted his friend. And he went, "Oh, you! You owe me money." 
and it wasn't that much money and the friend and his friend was like oh please please um please let me off uh please just let me off i'll pay it soon i'll pay it soon it's only a little bit of money and he's like no pay it now i'll send you to prison and then one of the people um heard about him doing this and told the king about it and the king and the king um And the king threw him in, him into prison um, for not paying his debt because he wouldn't forgive that person for paying. Um, yeah. So, uh, and then Jesus says afterwards, if you can't forgive, um, if you can't forgive other people, um, my lot, uh, my father in heaven um, can't forgive you if you don't forgive others. Um. That's a little bit what I wanted to tell you about. Uh, but you're asking God to forgive you in this prayer, which I will do, but not right now in this video. Um, okay. Bye, J. Bye, J247. Um, hope you're all keeping well. I'll see you uh, soon, I hope. Okay.